Good morning everyone starting out with clear skies, but watch how the clouds start to increase over the last couple of hours. So we'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine this morning, followed by mostly cloudy skies this afternoon. We'll also start to watch for rain chances ramping up as we get a big surge of warmth and also moisture out ahead of our next cold front that will arrive overnight tonight. Temperatures are anywhere from 5 to 15 degrees warmer compared to 24 hours ago, already putting many spots near 50. Check out Bay City and Flint at 48. We're at 49 in Owasso, 47 in Cairo, still chilly in a few spots, 30 in Tawas and upper 30s now in Mount Pleasant, but overall the trend will be for a mild day with many spots getting into the upper 60s and maybe even a few 70 degree readings, especially along and south of Interstate 69, partly because of the south and southeast breeze that we have going right now at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. It will pick up some speeds 15 to 25 throughout your day today, and then the rain will start to arrive as our front scoots a little closer to us from where it's at currently, which is actually into the eastern part of Wisconsin. You can see some showers right through the heart of Lake Michigan and a couple moving into the western part of the lower peninsula, but overall the trend will be for the shower chances to mainly be stuck into the afternoon. Don't be too shocked though if you see one or two isolated showers late this morning. The significant surge of moisture accompanying our area of low pressures right now across Missouri. It will start to scoot towards the north and east and as we get the warmth with the moisture combining with the cold air out west that will be moving in. That all spells the shower and thunderstorm chances going into the overnight tonight. Some of us could see about an inch of rain which will only exacerbate the ongoing flooding that we're still continuing to deal with from the last two weeks of very heavy and soaking rains. So here's how a future cast is painting it for us. Quiet with an isolated shower near noon. Here's four o'clock this afternoon. We'll start to watch for a line of showers developing out west. Then we could see here, hear even a few rumbles of thunder overnight tonight as we still stay very mild. By 10 o'clock, we'll have temperatures well into the 60s, but then the cold air will start to run, in, run into the area behind our cold front, and that may change some of this rain over to a rain-snow mix just in time for tomorrow morning's rush. Not expecting any roadway issues as temperatures will stay into the mid to upper 30s. But that's how significant of a front this is. We'll go from 70 today to about 48 tomorrow. And in between that, we'll see a little bit of a mix with overnight lows falling into the upper 30s. And then as we look ahead to Thursday, still stuck in the cold, but we have another upper level system that will ride through the area. At about 45 degrees, we'll see a rain snow mix. But finally, Friday into Monday, looking at a drier period of weather. This is great news. Hopefully this will finally end the flooding that's been going on across the area. Temperatures will be mild too. Finally getting into the low to mid 60s above seasonal norms for this time of year.